Today we're looking at the Hako FX100 and the Hako FX1002-84. And what this is, is the micro iron kit. Pretty cool stuff. Real small tips. I'll give you a close-up of that in a little bit. This unit happens to be RF technology based. Uh, basically, it's a different type of technology. Very streamlined, one of their newer stations. It has uh, a sleep mode when you put it in the stand itself. There's some sort of, an, I don't know if it's a magnet or something that triggers it, um, but it will trigger it to put it in sleep mode. It also has an, a shut off mode. So if it's on for a certain period of time, and forgive me, I don't know that time frame, but if it's on for a certain period of time, it will actually shut off. And what, how, what does that do? Uh, one, it saves tips, and two, it saves power. And the sleep mode also does the same thing. It ramps down. I don't know where it goes to as far as temperature. I'm thinking 350. I could be wrong on that. But basically in sleep mode, it will drop down. And you'll see that this unit will quickly recover as far as temperature when you go to solder again. Nice thing about this, um, as far as set point temperatures, you actually do not dial it in. The set point temperature is determined by the tip itself. So, for example... With the standard soldering unit, we have the um, the white white tips, and I'll get a close up of this in a little bit. But the white tips, are 660 would be the temperature. The black would be 750. The blue would be 840, and then the yellow would be 895. So again, the tip determines the temperature, and you can see how those are color coded. Now, with the micro, there's only two types. I must said three. I want to say two. There's two types. You have the white, and the white is, oh, let me double check my notes. The white is 660 degrees. And just to clarify, this is all in Fahrenheit, okay? But the white is 660, and then in the black, it's 750 Fahrenheit. And that's for the mini tips. So let's look at the standard handpiece that comes with the unit. Also, pretty ergonomically, uh, ergonomically nice. It's it's like a larger pencil, almost like um, I don't know, not a dry erase. It's smaller than a dry erase, but um, just feels nice. The tips again, no set point temperature. This one's black, and black equals 750 degrees F. They quickly just pop in and out. Now, th obviously, this is not hot. It, you can change them when they are hot, and it comes with this little this little mat. You pull it in and out with that. So, to hook it up, again, just like simple coax like you have on your TV, or your cable box, I should say. And, turn that on. Nice little display. It says, hello. Thank you, Hako. It's ramping up. You can see it ramp up. It's giving it power. And then it is about almost there. It's up to speed. That's pretty quick, too. So the nice thing about it, too, when I was first demoed this, I was really, really, really impressed as to how it just maintains. Ooh, I better put that on top of something. How it just recovers quickly here. I'm putting it under a pretty good load, okay? You're going to see that it, it gets right back up to speed. That's a big, this is a, a penny that I'm soldering to. And you can just see it. Um, we're cranking some heat in this penny. And I'll try to do a close-up of this. But you can see, I, I have that right down on there. And I have this solder way off, oh, about a half inch. And it's putting some juice through that penny. And I'm able to solder it over there. Now, that little guy is pretty darn impressive. Whew. Wow. That's power. So the micro iron. This is a, it doesn't come with the station, okay? It's something you could buy uh, as an accessory. But basically, you would get... Um, and it's small, or, oh, it's, it's about, it feels just like a pencil or a pen. 
So it's not heavy at all. Ergonomically, it's awesome. The cord's not all that 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 heavy. So um, it's kind of nice. The tips are really small. I don't even know if we can see it on there. I'm gonna try to. I guess not. But boy, they're just they're almost like little needles. And they obviously be very application specific. Um, and there's an assortment of geometries. I don't know if you could really see that, but you get your you get your knife, you, some of your points. So got a variety of them there, huh? So this is a separate accessory that you could buy. You could find out more about it on GoKimco.com or give us a call. And this unit will basically tie in or hook up. Just unscrew this real quickly. And it's like a coax cable, probably familiar from setting up your TV at home, huh? You just put that right back in there. I hope that guy doesn't get mad at me for stealing his station. He hasn't said anything lately, so pretty cool stuff. Again, Hako FX100. You can check it out at gokimco.com. We have the units, we have tips, and if you need something, give us a call, send us an email. Thanks a lot.